Hey YouTube, it's Thomas here. I'm at a place that everybody knows to get your oil change from. I'm not being sponsored by them, so I'm not. They're going. They're going to be named nameless. Okay. So, quick video. Um, today I, I'm at home and um, I saw my college and high school ring, and I was uh, just seeing. Uh, I've, I've had a lot of weight loss. I've lost over about 50 pounds uh, because of, uh, because of um, the keto diet. And it's been working, and I've lost at least 50 pounds. And my weight's gone down. And I've noticed that uh, my body size has gotten smaller. My clothes have started uh, feeling bigger on me now, which is good. God be praised. So the reason why I'm, I'm calling this video is that I, I, I was able to put my high school ring on and my college ring. The, my high school ring is this one right here. Pardon the, the family friendly finger. And then this is my college ring, okay? So, this reminded me of a story about my friend Barry. My friend Barry, when we were in college, we were talking about 1981. And he got his ring. And he went to Baltimore Technical High School. This ring is really nice. I mean, it looks like this one uh, is a really nice, nice ring, and I've only saw it one time. I only saw it one time. The reason why I only saw it, only saw it one time was because he gave his high school ring to his girlfriend at the time. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why he did it. I think I, but I have my suspicions. <laughs> I have my suspicions. So I think the girl he gave it to was her name is Valerie. And I guess they had a relationship. She might have gave him some booty. <laughs> so she got some booty. <laughs> the ring. <laughs> so when he told me that, I said, what are you doing? I was I was upset with him. Uh, he said, I, I know, I, I'm sorry. I don't know why I did, but uh, she wanted the ring and I, and I gave it to her. I said, what? And I, the high school would ring with, for me at the time was a big accomplishment. And I don't know why would you do that? Because your parents pay for it. It'd be like me giving this away for some booty. Now that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. So he gave his ring to her. And I, and I hounded him about that. I said, okay, why'd you do this? So fast forward 40 years now. Um, 19, uh, 2021, um, before his, his passing, I talked to him about his college, his high school ring. So I said, um, uh, what's going on with the ring? You've been telling me about this for years. He said, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm in the process of getting a ring. Um, and I, I made some calls and that kind of thing. Um, well, I don't know if he did or not. I'm probably thinking he didn't because, uh, he passed away and he didn't get this so, up. More of the story, and I told this. My son just got his his uh, high school ring. Uh, he's going to, to another high school in, in, in Baltimore, but not that, not that high school. And I told him, uh, don't do what his uncle did. And he said, no, Dad, I'm not going to do that. So, word to the wise, tell your children, don't give up your ring for some booty. Don't do it. It's a bad deal. Give us something else, your t-shirt, <laughs> a, a coffee mug, <laughs> something other than the ring, because the ring is so important. So, anyway, I, I love him, but I, I just I just had to say, what are you doing? So, so um, you know, you guys have a good day. Uh, put some comments down there and tell me uh, if you had done something like that. I'm, I mean, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm not going to laugh at you. It's just, that's how it is. Okay. Gotta go. Bye-bye.